Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to do a skin retouch on a model that I photographed yesterday. Photoshop action I'm going to be using today is from Prince Mason. All right, let's get straight into our video. Let's get started. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate my layer by dragging it down. And once I've done that, I'm going to select the portrait retouch right here. Wait for it to do its thing. All right, so I'm going to expand the folder. Once I've expanded the folder, you will see on the mask area where it says paint here. I'm going to select that. I'm going to press B on my keyboard for the brush. And I'm going to reduce my uh, flow to about 25%. I'm going to hold on my shift key. And I'm going to press 2.5 for 25%. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to paint over her skin. All right, so here we go. Nice and easy like so. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna reduce uh, my brush to 10%, my flow to 10%. I'm gonna press, hold on my shift one more time and press one to get to 10%. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of rub over our neck area right here. Like so, that looks good. I'm gonna do about the same to our hands. Just like that, not too much. Okay, and now what I'll do is I'll expand the folder right here. And I'm going to reduce it maybe to about 60%. I'm go a little bit lower, 50%. And then this part here where it says extra smoothing, I'm going to select that. I'm going to go back, hold on my shift key once more time and press 2.5 for 25% flow. And I'm just going to smooth out these are the areas right here, just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Nice and easy, good. That's good, perfect. Her neck area is fine, so I don't necessarily need to do that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fix some color areas. So what I'll do in between the color layer right here and the eye texture layer, I'm just gonna select this for a blank layer. I'm gonna press B on my keyboard and I'm gonna press zero one for a flow of 1% on my keyboard while holding on my shift key. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to dab and just kind of paint in the color right here. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna take care of that in a bit. And right over here, I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna paint in the color of the skin right here. So it goes a little bit off, like so. Good. Just like that. And the same goes over here. I'm just gonna do this. We'll do the same here, like so. Good. What I'm pretty much doing right here is just I'm just balancing out the skin tone just a little bit. Zoom out. And let's see what we have done so far. So let's look at, look at the before and after, before and after. You see the image coming in, coming in nicely right here. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the texture layer. I'm gonna press S on my keyboard. Make sure that your sample area is on current, all right? And all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, and I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna press, make sure I'm on the clone stamp tool, good. I'm gonna press my, all just the sampler area, and all I'm gonna do is just like that, and paint over. Just like that. You get the idea, guys. Nice and easy. Oops. Fix that. Perfect. Good. Rather than you stand, sit there and watch me doing all of this, I'm just gonna speed the video along. Be right back.
so I'm pretty much done with most of the uh, blemishes. Let me zoom on. So as you can see, the skin has retained its texture and it doesn't look overly processed. That's one of the reasons why I love this, um, this plugin right there. It's good. All right, so we have removed most of the, you know, the hair from her the face and stuff like that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to collapse this layer because I really don't really need it right now. So what I'm going to do next now is I'm going to do the dodging and burning. All right. And then for the same thing for the brush, I'm still going to be on 100% opacity and 1% flow. All right. And then what I'll do also, let me zoom in. And I'm just going to do these fine little details right here. I'm just going to brush over nice and easy. Like so. Good. zoom out and see what it looks like. It looks really good. My battery is about to die. Sorry about that. I had to run quick and change the batteries in my camera. All right, so that's a basic uh, touch. I'm gonna do one more dodging and burning just for a little larger um, areas. I'm just gonna, oops, I'm just gonna lighten, bright, uh, darken the shadow right here on the nose, the ridge of the nose. Just to kind of straighten it out a little bit. I'm gonna just darken this area right here. Like so. And I'm gonna, Kind of add a little bit of highlight right here, a little bit right here. Okay, and that's looking really good. That's looking good. All right, so let's take a look and see what we have done so far. So look at the before and our after, before, after. Dramatic improvement in our shots so far. All right guys, if you're enjoying this video, please smash that like button guys and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's get back straight to the video. The one thing I'm gonna do too, you see these little shadow areas in our eyes right there. I'm gonna go back to this folder in this right here. And all I'm gonna do is go back to my brush. My brush is still on 1% flow and 100% opacity. I'm gonna dab and take the color of this and all I'm gonna do is just lighten this little dark air right here. Just gonna lighten it, just like so. And then I'm gonna dab here and just kinda even out the shadow right here, just like so. Nice and easy. Like so. So the eyes look a little bit more even. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Just like that, that's good. Perfect. All right, so the eyes are looking a lot better now. So all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna collapse this layer here. Hold on, I'm gonna just touch a little bit right here. Just a little right there. Like so. That's looking really good. Perfect. Yeah. 
Very good. All right, so we are looking really good here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna flatten that. I'm gonna do a stamp visible layer, holding on my Alt, Shift, um, Command, and E to get that. And all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna zoom in. You see she was wearing braces. So all I'm gonna do is gonna press J on my keyboard and I'm gonna go in for the, this is, this is the remove tool. And all I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna draw a circle right around here and see what it does. <clears throat> That's, that looks really good. Let me see how it looks before and after. One second. I don't like the fact that it removed the, uh, so I'm gonna do that over again. I'm gonna delete that. Do another stamp visible layer. And the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press L on the keyboard for the lasso tool. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the uh, lasso tool, right. And all I'm gonna do now is just gonna draw around, like so, holding down my shift. I'm gonna draw around this. And I'm gonna use generative fill just to see what it does. Let's go. <coughs> And that looks pretty good. It removed the braces. Let's move this to the side. It removed the braces for me. And I think that looks really good. And let's say I want to, let's say I want to add a little bit of she, so I can also just hold on my shift key right here. I'm gonna change this to all. I'm gonna lower the brush size. I'm gonna dab here. And I'm just going to paint just like that. And let's say I want it not to do, look too identical. I'm just going to bring down the opacity of that one just a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here to J one more time. And you see this little line, I think it was a hair. There you go, much better. Let me create another layer and just remove it. Oops. Just like that. And it's a little bit bright and I can go here. And all I'm gonna do is just fade it. Just a little bit, just like that. Good. All right, so the teeth is the teeth looking fine right there. And next what I'm gonna do now, you see this little part here with the, with the eyelash kind of hanging off? All I'm gonna do I'm gonna create another blank layer. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna decrease the size. And all I'm gonna do is just kinda go right around like so. And voila, it's taken care of, removed. And the next thing I can do is I'm going to use my lasso tool again one more time. And I'm just gonna paint right over this area right here. This is the patch. And I'm going to say generative fill, leave it blank, and see what it does. <clears throat> Let's look at the options. Let's run it one more time just to see. I think I like this one more. All right. So I'm just going to put that in a group by itself. And looking at the, the image right now, let's look at before and after. And I think that's just looking really nice, guys. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm going to whiten the eyes a little bit more, zoom back, brush. I'm gonna press, hold on shift and press zero on the keyboard for 100% flow. And I'm just gonna paint right in the eye right here. Like so. 
And don't worry if you go into other areas. All I'm going to do is just switch, press X on the keyboard to turn it back to blank and I can just paint away whatever areas that I kind of went over on, like so. Like that, that looks really good. And all I'm going to do is press V on my keyboard and then I'm going to, for the opacity, I'm going to reduce the opacity on the layer itself. So I think I'm going to do about 60%, maybe 50%. Let's zoom out and see what it looks like. Let's look at the before and after, before and after. Just a little pop to the eyes. I'm gonna create one more identity whitening again. And this time I'm gonna paint over the teeth. Like so. Put it back to white, make sure I'm painting with white. And just, just like that. Just like that, press V on the keyboard again. I'm gonna to go to about 50, let's make it 60%. 50% looks good to me. And that's looking really good. All right, so let's collapse these layers so at least we can see what we have done so far before, after, let me zoom in. Before and after, all right? So that's looking pretty good right there. The next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just kind of sculpt the face just a little bit. So I'm going to create another dodge and burn. I'm going to open that. And what I will do, I'm going to go to the burn layer. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a very slight, I'm going to press 0, 1, holding on my shift key for a 1% flow. And I'm going to press 5 on my keyboard for opacity. It brings it to 50%. And all I'm going to do is just kind of paint over here. Just a little bit, not too much. Right there. Paint over right here as well. Good. So what that is doing now is just kind of adding a little bit of contra, not too, not too much, just a little bit. Just a light, nice hint to it, all right? And now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to add a little bit of highlight um, to the highlighted ear right here, but I'm gonna use a different method, all right? What I'll do, I'm gonna create a different a blank layer one more time, press B on my keyboard, making sure my opacity is at 100% and also my flow is at 100%. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag down, make my brush a little bit larger, right above here, and I'm just gonna, oops, Make sure you press D on the keyboard to bring back to the default colors of black and white. Press X on the keyboard to bring the white to, to the top and just paint. It looks weird, guys. I understand. Don't worry about it. And just gonna double click on the layer. And where you see is on the line layer, I'm gonna drag this until it gets into the part where I like where I'm seeing it. And I'm just gonna drag it down some more like so. Then I'm gonna press V on my keyboard and I think I'm gonna bring it down to about 70%. So let's look at the before and after. It just had a light little sheen there and all I can do now with the same brush, I'm just gonna paint right in this area right here, right there. I'm gonna paint right here also. I'm gonna paint on our nose right here. Just a little highlight to the skin. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create another one and I'm gonna dab right here, right under her chin right here. Do the same thing. Just a hint of light. Bring this up a little bit, that looks good. I'm gonna lower the opacity to about 70%, make it 60%. That's looking pretty good. So let's zoom out. Let's put these in a group by itself. I'm gonna press, you can just drag these right here to this folder to put it into a group. And let's look at the before and after, before and after. Very subtle highlight to the skin. Very, very subtle. All right, I'm gonna expand that folder one more time. I'm gonna create another blank layer. I'm use my B key again for the brush. 
And all I'm going to do now, I'm going to decrease the size of the brush. And then I'm just going to paint over her lips right here. Just like that. Same principle. Just like that. I'm gonna bring that down to about 80%. And all I'm gonna do, just paint into the other areas. Just like that. Cause all I'm doing is just adding, I'm just kind of bringing up the highlights on the, on, the, on the areas that already had it. Just like so. I think that looks really good. I can do right in our eyes right here. All right, let's zoom out. And that looks really good. Let's look at the before, after, before, after. And I think that looks, makes our lips pop a little bit more. The final thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add that same little thing to her hair. And literally I'm just gonna paint just like that. Bring this down just about there and reduce it. Bring it back. Let's see. Right about there. All right. And now all I'm going to do, I'm just going to paint. I know it looks kind of weird right now, guys. Just give me a minute. I'm just going to paint over. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Burr. I'm just gonna blur it slightly. Then I'm gonna just reduce the opacity to about 60%, maybe 50, let's do 40. And let's look at the overall highlights. Just a little pop to the hair. I think I'm gonna bring this down a little more. It's a little bit down, just like that. I think that looks good. Perfect. All right. All right, so that's looking good. The final thing I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm going to grade the picture. I'm gonna do a stamp visible layer one more time. And then I'm gonna come here down the bottom and then color look up. And I'm gonna load this one right here. It's a little bit strong, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press V on the keyboard and then I'm press 2-5. Just a little. Let me look up another one and see. Let's try six. It's a little bit too. I'm gonna try nine. I, I think I like nine more. Nine looks really good. Let's look at the before, after, before, after. I think I'm gonna reduce it down to about 20%. Let's do 20. 20 looks really good. Let's look at the before and after, before, after. That's looking really nice, guys. So from where we are coming from, from here to here, I think we have done a really good job on this photo, guys. Next thing I'm gonna do, you see this dark line right here, I'm gonna reduce that. So I'm gonna click on my dodge and I'm burning one more time. Be on the keyboard, make sure that my flow is at 1%. And all I'm gonna do is I'll zoom in just a little bit here and just take care of this right here. Just kind of reduce it. Like so. It's a little bit distracting for me. Can do this one right here too. Just like that. I 
And then what I'll do is I'll just create a blank layer, like so. Press J on my keyboard. And I'm gonna go to my healing brush. <clears throat> Make sure it says all layers. And all I'm gonna do is just paint. Just kind of make it blend a little bit better. I think that's looking a lot better now, guys. Perfect. So now let's look at let's one more time. Let's look at look at what we have done. Let's look at before, after, before, after. And I think we have done a really good job on this photo right here, guys. Let me know if you guys enjoy this video. If you do, smash that like button, guys. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more. All right. You guys have a great day. Take care and peace.